You've probably heard of this sword called the Pigment Sword. This used to be the best weapon in high pixel skyblock, and it was obtained through compressing 520 inventories of pig flesh into a single sword. But this sword was outclassed by the 50 million coin minus sword, which was 8 times more expensive than the Pigment Sword. It was then the best sword in the game for a while. And then this thing called Power Creep, and other things happened. Then the Midas Sword turned into a YouTube channel. Then a new boss is added to the catacombs area. This boss, when defeated, drops a stick about 0.5% of the time. The stick, when combined with 24 black Rubik's cubes, and then combined with 8 eyeballs, makes a sword called the Hyperion. Then you put 3 scrolls on it and the sword is worth 12 times more than the Midas sword. But we're not stopping there yet. You can then put a few thousand pieces of boba, another Rubik's cube, all these enchantment books, books of potato, and someone's blood on it, and you have one of the best swords in the game. Nothing comes close to this sword. Here's a quick demonstration of what it can do. And not surprisingly, so many people have talked about this. There's a 3 billion coin Hyperion for crackheads. Some guy is doing the dirt to Hyperion challenge. And some other people have recorded themselves making the Hyperion. But there is one stage of the Hyperion life cycle that isn't documented. You have the birth of a Hyperion. Then you have the usage of a Hyperion, but nobody really talks about the death of a Hyperion. Like all things, nothing lasts forever. As I said before, a basic Hyperion is 12 times the price of a clean 50 million coin minus sword. If you do the calculus, that's 600 million coins. You have to dedicate hours upon hours to get it. You have to put your life aside just for this shiny iron sword. And when people lose it, they will go mad. And that was what happened to a guy called Blue Pointed. This is the story of a man's journey to get his precious sword back, and the things a man would do for a shiny piece of metal. Sit back, and put on your seat belts. This is the search for the stolen Hyperion. The day is December 15th. Some guys are trying to make money in Skyblock, so they do this method known as carrying. You see, Dungeons Floor 7 is hard. Some people can't beat it by themselves. So, people who can't complete Floor 7 pay others to help them complete Floor 7. Some sources say you can make up to 50 million coins an hour by carrying clueless people in dungeons. But only a few will master the art of carrying. This guy called Blue Pointed is attempting to do carrying business, while sharing his screen to some friends on Discord. It is a well-known fact that teenagers have a tendency to be reckless, so Blue Pointed did this funny prank with his sword while he was screen sharing. However, if you've watched my other videos, you will know by now that all funny pranks go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, throw out the Hyperion, bro. That's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, you won't do it. No balls. <laughs> you can see that he exited his inventory before putting his sword back in it, and the item drops out. However, it appears that his sword is still in the inventory due to a visual bug. He then realizes three seconds too late, and he tries to pick it back up. But it's gone. Someone else had picked it up, and it started to dawn on him. And so, the hunt for Blue Pointed's Hyperion began. Blue Pointed was in this guild called Lost in Space. When they found out about the incident, they all started laughing hysterically. Some people started calling dibs on Blue Pointed's items in case he quit the game. Blue Pointed started yelling for an admin to come give him a brand new Hyperion. Fun fact. Lost in Space has admin guild members. In some cases, admins would refund items that were lost to glitches, if you had video proof. So Blue Pointed started by uploading the security footage to media sharing website known as YouTube, and people began reviewing it. Spoiler alert! The admins did not help. Anyways back to the video. You probably saw this person standing where Blue Pointed dropped his sword, whose name was Cookies Are Good. And sure enough, they checked Cookie's Ender chest on a stat viewing website, and saw Blue Pointed's Hyperion in it. We solved the mystery. Thanks for watching.
except Blue Point had wanted his sword back from Cookie Guy. Cookies are good wasn't exactly a god at the game, but he knew the basics of how it worked. The new sword multiplied his net worth by about a hundred, and he wasn't going to give it up so easily. After putting the weapon in the ender chest, he then disabled his API access so that other players couldn't see his ender chest through Skyblock profile viewing websites. But that didn't stop Blue Pointed from getting to him. Cookies Island was open to visitors, and people could send party requests to him. So Blue Pointed asked the Lost in Space members to get into contact with Cookie Man. They thought that Cookie Guy was clueless, so the plan was to negotiate a deal with Cookie Guy to get the sword back for cheap, and to do it while the Cookie Guy didn't know the true value of the Hyperion. But it was too late, because when you have tens of people visiting you and tens of other people suddenly wanting to be your friend just because you picked up a sword, you will realize it's an extremely valuable sword. Blue Pointed's cry for backup had backfired. So, it was time for Plan B. Negotiation always goes well with intimidation. And what's more intimidating, than a guy with YouTube rank? As it so happened, Lost in Space had about 4 YouTubers. Being the very resourceful people they are, they asked the YouTubers to go to his island and intimidate him. It didn't work. And cookies are good logged off. Things weren't looking so good, but Cookies are good had a co-op with a few other members. They are, Silent Sword, Master, Harry Chicken Leg, and Lick My Potatoes. But before they could get harassed, Blue Pointed started to calm down. He told everyone to leave the island so he could handle the situation himself, except the well-known influencer and content creator guy called Pigishal, who took it upon himself to help get the sword back. Him and Blue Pointed decided to talk with the co-op and negotiate. Upon viewing the clip of what happened, the co-op member said, they would think about returning it. But it was midnight in Blue Pointed's proud country of England, and it was time to sleep. Speaking of midnight, it was about 1am while I wrote this, and I hit 70,000 subscribers. Can we make it 80,000? Make sure to. Be labor the subscription button. It's now still December the 15th, and Blue Pointed would not give up on his sword. But there was only so much he could do. The best he could do was stay on Cookie Guy's island and wait for stuff to happen. Most of Blue Pointed's guild had lost interest by then, and he was kind of on his own. Pigishal had tried his best already, but none of the co-op members simped for him. Some random things happened including a time when Master 7474 accused Blue Pointed of doing it on purpose to get attention on his channel. Which doesn't seem too unreasonable considering the state of the Hypixel Skyblock YouTuber community. Another co-op member wasn't very clueless, and he knew the true value of Blue Pointed sword. So he asked for 500 million coins to return the sword. Of course, Blue Pointed refused this offer. Yet another member called Harry Chicken Lake, was on Blue Pointed's side, saying that he would try his best to get the sword back. And Blue Pointed continued to wait. Five hours passed, and he is still on their island. Suddenly, Cookies Are Good and his other co-op members show up on the island. And they want to make a deal with Blue Pointed. For just 25 million coins, they would give the Hyperion back. But here's the exception. Blue Pointed would have to carry the co-op in floor 7. 100 times. And the dungeon runs would have to be S+. To put into perspective how long it will take, allow me to explain carrying in floor 7. Due to how the floor 7 boss fight works, you need at least two decent players to beat the boss. The co-op being carried has three active players. With two decent players and three other guys who freeload, it takes an average of 10 minutes to complete the run. But that's just completing the run instead of going for S+. An S+, requires you to find all the secrets in every room, and have less than 3 deaths. With 5 decent players, an S+, run takes about 7 minutes. With 2 decent players, it's about 20 minutes. Not only that, but it's nearly impossible to get an S+, in a carry when you have 3 people who will probably get constantly shredded every minute maybe 80% or 90% of the 20 minute runs would not be S+. 
It would take hundreds of hours to finish the carries, and with those hundreds of hours, he could have gotten more than enough money to buy not only a new Hyperion, but probably two Hyperions. But it did not matter. Blue Pointed just wanted his sword back, and he would settle for 100 S plus carries. Yes. Okay, 25 mil from an Hyperion back, I will take it. I give you the height, yes. Oh no. my god! Yes, 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 give it, give it, give it. Quite good, <laughs> Come on. This. Yes! Dip, 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 Yes! Did he get it back? The Lost yes. in Space live reaction to the return of the Hyperion was ecstatic, and it was a miracle to behold. But he was pulled back to reality. He now had to begin doing the 100 floor 7s plus carries, and the co-op was already getting impatient. To start off, Blue Point had had to carry the three active members of the co-op through floor 4, because to unlock floor 7, you have to beat all the floors before it. And the co-op left off at 4. As Blue Point had finished the carry, he realized something. He could not bear playing with them. He started to realize how impossible it would be to achieve even a singular S plus in floor 7 with the three players. Blue Point had had to come up with a plan to get out of this, and he had an idea. The next day, in the middle of a dungeon run. Hello. Okay, whatever you do. Don't message him back. Just ignore him. And that was basically the strategy. He was going to pretend to be AFK, all day long, every day. And Blue Point had got his friends to play along with it. When Master 7474 or the other co-op members messaged Blue Pointed or his friends, they would just act like Blue Pointed was AFK. Hopefully, it would help Blue Pointed get away from the impossible Floor 7S plus carry request. The following day, at the Blue Pointed residence. Blue is AFK. Why are you here? We gave his Hyperion back. He promised 100 Floor 7 carries. Laugh out loud, L. L. Sounds like AU. Problem. This went on for two weeks, and as time went on, the co-op that returned Blue Pointed's Hyperion, messaged him less and less, as they couldn't get Blue Pointed to reach back to them. They didn't even get a floor 5 carry. But one day, they had enough of being ghosted. About a month ago, the co-op stormed Blue Pointed's island, demanding the floor 7 carries. But Blue Pointed had a backup plan. He was just going to pretend he didn't know Cookie Guy or his co-op members. As if he had suffered from sudden amnesia. This got them really mad, and they decided that Blue Pointed was a lost cause. And from that point on, the co-op never bothered Blue Pointed ever again. Blue Pointed had escaped, with his Hyperion. So, where is everyone now? Blue Pointed sold his Hyperion to a guy called K7 Grams 4, and he has retired to grind other things. The co-op doesn't really play that much nowadays. What they did with the 25 million coins is not very well known, although you can take a look at their auction history. And yeah, that's basically the story. The moral of the story is, if you have Skyblock add-ons, you should always keep your sword locked in the slot. Then never unlock it for the love of life. You should also never try to get S plus in a carry. Okay it is now time to work on the next video. Goodbye.